Welcome space lovers, tonight we get to view a spectacular nearly full moon. Let's explore what's glowing up there and what to look out for. So it's Thursday 4th September and tonight we are greeted with a waxing gibbous moon. It is nearly full and is around 88% illuminated. The moon is about 389,348 kilometers away, moving closer as it approaches perigee, which occurs around the 10th of September 2025. So let's take a closer look at some lunar features visible tonight. First up is Rupes Recta, or Straight Wall. It's a 110 kilometers long fault line in Marnubium, nicknamed the Straight Wall because it looks like a giant scar across the surface. Around this phase, the low sun angle makes its shadow look like a steep cliff, even though it's only about 300 meters high. Next, we move to the Vallis Alps, or the Alpine Valley. This valley stretches over 130 kilometers through the Montes Alps and is about 10 kilometers wide at its broadest point. With a telescope, you might catch its delicate central rio, a tiny crack running down the middle. We now head to the stunning Copernicus Crater, about 93 kilometers across and 3.8 kilometers deep. It's one of the youngest major craters on the moon, only tilde 800 million years old. Its bright rays spread out for hundreds of kilometers, making it easy to spot even with binoculars. Our next target is another crater, Archimedes Crater. This huge crater is 83 kilometers wide with a flat lava flooded floor that contrasts with its sharp mountain walls. It sits near the Apennine mountain range, giving breathtaking views of peaks and shadows around its rim. We end our tour with a look at one of the lunar seas, Mare Serenitatis, or the Sea of Serenity. This lunar sea is a massive plain of ancient solidified lava, about 700 kilometers wide. Along the edges, mountain ranges like Montes Hamus and Montes Caucasus catch the light, creating glowing ridges tonight. I hope you enjoyed this quick look at tonight's moon. With nearly 90% illumination, tonight's waxing gibbous gives us high contrast views. Craters and ridges cast long shadows, perfect for telescopes or even binoculars. And since the moon is closing in on perigee, it appears slightly larger than usual. So grab your binoculars or telescope and don't forget to like and subscribe if you want more night sky shorts. Happy moon watching.